Hello, my name is Melanie Marshall. I play the role of Fumilayo Anikolapo Kuti, who was Fela's mother. It's a great honor and a privilege for me to play this role. Um, being in musical theater, you always get to play um, characters that are made up. But when you're playing somebody who was real life and who had such a strong feminist, amazing personality and to portray that it's 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 more than just a job i i feel i feel such a, a great energy uh, coming out every night and and singing my my four performance uh, my, my four uh, performances that i that you see me on stage other, other, otherwise um you hear a lot of me um backstage but i just love it and you know uh, uh, the energy that i get from the rest of the cast and from the music and from the audience and it just all builds into a whole a whole cooking pot of oh what what else can i bring what other seasoning can i bring to it tonight and so it's a it's a it's a privilege more than a job it's a privilege my name is Ade Chike and i am a swing which means that i cover every guy in the show it's a it's a tough job but Somebody's got to do it, you know, and I know that I'm more than capable of doing it and it doesn't even, it doesn't feel like work because I love being on the stage so much and it, I love the challenge of being able to jump and switch into a different role at a moment's notice, you know, and it's a beautiful show, the, the cast is wonderful, the, the band is wonderful, you know, and there's such a level of camaraderie on the stage, you yeah. know, and I think we can yeah. look at each other and it's 100% genuine, you yes. know, nothing's phoned in and it's, it's real, we love the audience, we love when the audience is participating with us and just to see people up there dancing and smiling with us, I think it makes us want to go and push even more. Yes. This show is compromised of contemporary dance and West African dance. So there's so many different styles from Saba to Manjani, Kuku, and the, the show is just use a, pretty much a melting pot of just so many different cultures and so many different genres. So the work, it's tough work, definitely. I mean, I think you can tell by our PT list, the physical therapy, and, <laughs> yes. and seeing everybody backstage. You, you smell the aroma of Tiger Balm and <laughs> Icy Hot, you know. But um, it's worth it. I know everybody, everybody works really hard. And I think it's, it's probably the, the toughest show I've ever been in, mm. you know, physically and, and mentally. Because there's so, it's such intricate choreography. It's really big choreography. It's very specific choreography, you mm. know. And I think sometimes people might just see it as, oh, they're just up there, you know just shaking it and having a good time, not knowing that there's an actual aesthetic, aesthetic to it, you know, and um, you have to get training in it to, in order to do it right. So, I mean, I, for me, I think getting into this show took me at least a month for me to feel comfortable and, and secure in what I was doing. And to this day, I mean, I'm still, I'm still learning something each and every day. So fair. Fumalaya was a great influence on her son and the role that I play in the show is taken up after my death and so therefore I am that voice of reason, I'm that little tap on his shoulder every single time he thinks I wonder if I can get away with this, I wonder if I can leave Nigeria, I wonder if I can go and do something else, what would my mother really, really think of this? And if she was here now, what would she say? And, she, and he knows, he knows that unless it's a, particu it's a particular political view, unless it's something that is absolutely 100% going to help his fellow people, the answer will always be no. And so to have that, to have that little voice, to have that little whisper, to have that, that finger always just tapping you on the shoulder saying, don't forget, I may not be with you, but I am with you because I am here watching you and listening to all of your advice and I'm watching the way that you behave and how you treat people and know that if you're doing wrong, you will know about it because I will do something to let you know that I am displeased, just as I did when I was alive. I think it's a, a great thing to have um, backing from Jay-Z, Will Smith, and Jada Pinkett. 
Because I, I think it, it broadens the, the demographic that would normally come to the show. Yes. You know, I think when people see these names attached to it, I think if you would normally see Fail the Musical, I think it would go over a lot of people's heads, but when you see produced by Jay-Z, produced by Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, it brings in a younger, a younger audience as well, which is, which is awesome because mm -hmm. you have people that wouldn't normally get the chance to, to learn about Fela yes. that are now informed. You know? yes. So we have to thank them for what they've done. You know? yes. Beautiful people. I think they've supported us really well. And, and it would be nice to meet them. Yes. Yeah, yes. we haven't met them. They met them on Broadway. They met them on we Broadway. On the Broadway show, yes. But yeah. I'm from London, so yes, I haven't met them yet. So hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. we meet them soon, though. Please. Fella is two and a half hours of absolute sheer emotional excitement. You go from one extreme to the other. One minute you're dancing, one minute you're singing, next minute you could be crying, one minute you could be so enthusiastic, one minute you're watching all of the footage that's going on, all of the video footage, you're reading what happened to some of the wives, what happened to him, the man, was absolutely relentless in his journey to, to get a better Nigeria for his people. And, I, and what we tried to do in those two and a half hours is just to show you, in his few years, because he died very young, in his few years, what he tried and tried and tried to do. Yes, his music is amazing, but the message that his music also brings, his, his little um, motto was, music is the weapon. Anything that he wanted to say, he said it through his music. So you know, you might, be, you might be dancing, you might be really, really enjoying yourself, but at the same time, he's also talking about the government. Yeah. And he's, t yes, he is teaching you. So you're educated, you're taken on that emotional roller coaster. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you will enjoy it. And Nicola Bokuti, he who carries death in his pouch, who no mortal can ever kill. So let us turn Nigeria upside down. The police will try and shut me down, but the government won't dare come near me. I am the law and will do what I please. So yeah, man, make me your next black president. Kerry K, 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 Kerry